Right, great news. I thought I'd never see a human being out on a walk. And I just bumped into this man on his, motor, his scrambling bike. He's just gently coming down here. And he said, you're absolutely fine. He said, this track takes you all the way to Lydiard Hill Car Park. Which is just what I wanted to hear. I didn't ask him how far though. Maybe I should have asked him. But he said, just keep going. And you'll come to the Lydiard Hill. He said, if you wanted to go down to West Bagborough from there. You could. Do you know what I mean? There are ways around this. There are ways around this to get to Crocombe. But it would mean me walking from West Bagbra Church. You didn't say it forked. This is where things go wrong, you see. There's a fork now. Look. Where I saw people sat, that must be the hill. Do you reckon? Yeah. I am relieved though. So my sister Jude has been guiding me in the background, hasn't she? She's been guiding me all the time. Because it was pure on the spot decision to come. I'd never done this path in my life. I didn't even know it existed until now. It was an on-the-spot decision the moment I left the church. I did have another route, sort of planned, which was near, close down by the church, the cottage with the pathway. That would take, would take me up through green fields and arable farmland. But something told me no. I remember I seen something online where a bloke said about another path. But I only, I didn't take any details, I only guessed. And um, basically what it is, it, and it was only me deciding where to go on the, across the fields. There were fields. I could have gone one way or another. Do you see what I mean? And basically my instinct just told me. My instinct. Follow his tracks. <laughs> There's another coom down there, look. I wonder what that one's called. Well, we now know about this one. In fact, this one, if you think about it, coming from Stout Hill, or Lane, you could come down this way to the church if you wanted to visit it again, couldn't you? And then explore the valley up, or around the other way. You see his tracks again, he's saying, just keep following this drove. Droves are brilliant, aren't they? Now what's good about this drove is it's snaking its way up. Now the other side, I was going downhill, it was great, thinking, oh my god, I don't want to have to walk back up this. So that's another thing to keep in mind, which way up the hill's going. And this could be what that girl called a water track. You said it was very muddy and watery, and this must be it. I think I'll sleep. Right. The first of June could be the 
seventh, eighth, ninth video. I'm not sure. I had to do a couple of small ones when Sony played up. Sony's all right now. I've put it on a specific setting. It seems to be okay. Anyway, we're coming up this track. It's a drove. It's uh, opposite side of the valley to the the Triscum drove that hugs Great Wood. This is on this side of uh, approaching Lydiard Hill and on the West Bagborough side. We're doing all right. I think the hills have actually helped a lot. Um, it is a long way up though. I, I just tell you that this is, um, it is quite a long walk. Um, it, it seems to be going on and on, but there's lots of shade for me. Lots and lots of shade. Um, but I'm approaching the car park at Lydia Hill, where, where I will come out apparently. But there's fantastic views. All around me, look at me, look at that. Fantastic views, everybody. Which I wouldn't have seen if I hadn't made the spontaneous decision to walk up here. I didn't even know this drove existed because I didn't really study a, a map in that much detail. I, went, I, I, I did like a, a basic outline of where I was going and I knew it would be an adventure. And at times it has been a bit anxious, thinking, oh God, I'm going to get lost. I run out of time. But it's a gorgeous day. It has the wind can be a bit sharp at times, especially when the sun goes in. But here, Christmas trees, beautiful drove on the opposite side of the coombe back there. And but it is it it is a, a stout walk. I will tell you that. But the only thing is I haven't done up the middle of the valley. Um, I haven't done that yet. That will be the next mission. I might even have a break for a while before I even think about doing it. Um, see, it's going on and on, but we are getting there. We are getting there, folks. And we we got to keep going. <laughs> I'm following this motorbike's tracks. He said this will take me to the car park of Lydiard Hill. <sighs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna I'm persevering and keeping going. I've also been to that area, <sighs> not driven to it, but I walked from Lydiard Car Park. <sighs> down a road to West Bagborough once and uh, if I felt time was running short or I would risk the very dangerous West Bagborough bus stop it's a very very poor area for a bus to stop and if you don't you've got to stand more or less in the road to be seen it's a fast moving road so I don't know if I'll make it to Crocombe. To be quite honest, I think it's asking a bit much of me now. So I might, like I said earlier, in the very start of the walk, I might go back to Triscombe and down the Wibbly Wobbly Road. But at least I'll be going downhill. Because I reckon that'll be enough for me today. You know, do you? Yeah. To think of doing, I would love to do the drove, but that walk down Crocombe Hill is quite, even going downhill, is quite demanding. So there's a strong possibility, because we've done quite a big hike, to be quite honest. They will see me when I stand there. It is much better than the West Bagborough bus stop area. But you really got to be on the ball because it's, it's called Red Post 
I've just come turning. The thing is, there's no bus stop sign or nothing. It's, it's, it's they, you just hope they'll stop. I remember we, I was on the bus the other week and he stopped there and that's what gave me the idea. When he stopped there, first time I've ever known the bus to stop at the Triscombe Turning, that's going a good hour to walk. From the time I leave Triscombe Stone, that's a good hour to walk down. It's a very, it's quite a long way. And if you miss the bus, there's long waits with nothing to do. <clears throat> at least it's got a shelter at, at um, Crocombe. <sighs> but it's just, I don't know if I've got the energy to do that last bit. You know, it's a long walk through... Uh, is it a long walk through Crocombe? Are you thinking of West Bagborough? West Bagborough's a long walk. Crocombe ain't. No, but Crocombe's got that long hill. That big steep hill, isn't it? Look at that. People are walking from here. I'm taking lots of photos because I don't know when I'd be out here again because this has been a real challenge for me today the challenge being not knowing when I'm going to get there it's been a very the droves have been extremely long And um, what's it say on there? What's that say? Yeah, it doesn't give you a clue where it's going though, but I reckon that lead to some big hill over there that I haven't ever been to yet. God, I tell you, I've taken a long time this walk. I still think there's a long way yet. Do you? I think so. I think it's still quite a way, do you? Yeah. I can see a road. I see a road. Yeah, that's not it. That's maybe that's that uh, Colton Hill over there. I kept thinking that's um, Lydia. That one. Maybe it ain't. Got hope not. God, it's going on for ages. Yeah, this is a challenge, everyone. I would say I wouldn't do all what I've done today easily and think about doing it that easily. But now, once you know a route, it doesn't seem to be so bad. Once you know a route, but this route would be almost impassable, I think, in the winter. I mean, look how bad it is now. It's 1st of June, and it's still really mucky. See the sort of paths here? And you think to yourself, I wonder where that goes. Would that take me... You know, when you're going that way, should, should I go up there? It's difficult to know, really, isn't it? When you don't know an area. And he says, keep going along the drove. And there's no one about to ask. But I reckon if I went up there, I'd probably be heading the right way as well. But I won't risk it. I'll keep to what we've... We said we would do, which is this way. But I would have thought that could link up with my road and I'm going like swooping round, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. 
what happens when you're doing your first exploring in Reque, what happens is you often do extra. As I'm finding, I'm doing the boundaries. So that little track there could have been the one I should have gone down easily to join up. But because I don't know the area and I'm following the advice of the biker, he said go to the end because I could get lost if I went if I branched off then. Don't forget. I'm following the advice of the of the driver. And uh, he said just keep going to get to the car park. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm doing the boundaries. And um and when you do the boundaries, it often takes you the longest route. I found that out with the Coleridge Way. When I first did the Coleridge Way from Nether Stowey to Holford and all around there, God, it took you on a wild goose chase up every coom and down. And around. Once you know, you, don't, you can cut huge bits out. You don't have to follow it religiously. Now I can see a road up there. I think we're getting close now. I'm half expecting that bloke on the motorbike to come back and give me a lift. <laughs> I can see a vehicle over there, so I reckon we're nearly there now. But that track back there could have been a way round but it ain't worth risking it just in case keep to the boundary on the first recce take make note of all the different little tracks that's that oh god I don't know how you pronounce it Court, Court Hill Hill or something over there which I haven't done. That would be a separate mission to do that. I, I saw that for miles. Did you? Yeah. Right over there. Right, I'm going to turn off again, folks, until we get to the car park. Over and out.